There's a new breast cancer drug that many cancer survivors have very strong opinions on, and that drug is Verzenio. Dr. Amy here, and in this video, I'm showing you exactly what you need to know about Verzenio, both the good, the bad, and the exact side effects that you need to watch out for. Verzenio is a CDK4-6 inhibitor, which has been a real game changer in terms of drugs available for advanced or metastatic hormone positive HER2 negative breast cancer thrivers. There are a few drugs in this class of medications known as CDK4-6 inhibitors, but Verzenio appears to be the most popular. So let's dive into this specifically. Now, CDK4-6 inhibitors are primarily used to treat advanced or metastatic breast cancer. It's used in breast cancer that's estrogen and progesterone positive, but HER2 negative. This type of breast cancer is driven by hormones in your body, and that's what fuels this type of cancer cell's growth. Their role is to block certain enzymes that are involved with estrogen metabolism. This action helps control the growth and the spread of this type of cancer cell. It essentially works by blocking an enzyme that's needed by the cancer cells in order to replicate and divide. By blocking this enzyme, Verzenio is slowing the growth of cancer cells. This means that cancer cells like this can't grow or divide as quickly or as rapidly if you weren't on the drug at all. Now, Verzenio is rarely used alone. It's most effective when combined with other anti-hormonal therapies. These are drugs like anastrozole, letrozole, or exemestane. Now, because these drugs work in two different ways, to lower and prevent the use of estrogen by these cancer cells, then they work synergistically to lower the spread and the risk of cancer. But Verzenio is not an IV chemotherapy drug. You take it by mouth, it's a pill. Depending on your treatment plan, you might take it in cycles, meaning two weeks you take the drug and then you take a week off, or you might take it every single day. Okay, but what about the side effects? So let's dig into the dark side of Verzenio. Like all medications, Verzenio comes with side effects. The most common side effect is a low white blood cell count. Now having a low white blood cell count may not be that big of a deal when you're in cyclical IV chemotherapy. You know that chemo comes in cycles, which allows your body to recover between cycles, ideally. There are periods where your white blood cells will be low and periods where it'll come back up again. You also know that IV chemotherapy, it's short term. It'll be a few months and then you'll be done. But this is not the same case for Verzenio. You're on Verzenio for an ongoing basis. It's not necessarily just a set number of cycles. Some women might be on Verzenio forever. This is where making sure you have good blood counts and supporting your body to do so well, this is where it really comes in. Otherwise, you could end up in a lot of trouble. Now, another major side effect of Verzenio is fatigue, exhaustion, tiredness, downright fatigued. The good news is that you can manage your exhaustion. There are strategies to help you reclaim your energy even while you're on Verzenio on an ongoing basis. You don't have to feel like you're stuck. If you're challenged with low energy, then I have a perfect free masterclass for you. This is great to watch if you're on Verzenio, if you're not on Verzenio, or even if you're not a breast cancer survivor. This video is a perfect place to start if you're wanting to support your body in reclaiming your energy after cancer. You'll discover the strategies that cancer thrivers use to really live a life long-term after cancer. I'll link up that free masterclass in the description below. Now, a breast cancer survivor that I work with in the Cancer Freedom Program, she really struggled with exhaustion while she was on Verzenio. She had terrible exhaustion. She was to the point where she would just be in bed every time she was back home. She couldn't imagine her life moving forward like this. Always tired? Hey, Dr. Amy here, interrupting this video to let you know about the 30-day anti-cancer plan. Now, the contents of this video, it's amazing, but you're gonna need a little bit more support if you truly wanna do everything in your power to stay cancer-free, and that's where I wanna help. The 30-day anti-cancer plan maps out exactly what you should eat, how you should exercise, and your mindset strategy for the next 30 days. I'm gonna put the link below in the description, so go click now and get your copy. Well, we made adjustments to her nutrition and her exercise routine, and within two weeks, she started to get her energy back. She didn't feel like she needed to be in bed anymore. She even went back into the office to work. I'm sharing this with you so you don't feel hopeless and stuck. 
If you're exhausted, there are solutions. But after we corrected her energy, then we moved on to the next side effect from Brisenio that she was challenged with. That's diarrhea. Diarrhea can be a rough side effect for many women. They feel trapped in their homes because they always need to be close to a bathroom. Plus, no one wants diarrhea. It's just not any good. But again, there are a couple solutions for you here. Diarrhea can be controlled just by changing your diet. We often get really good results just by doing that. Another solution is to change the dose of your Verzenio. Dosage adjustments are quite common in CDK4-6 inhibitors. The goal is to manage your side effects without compromising the drug's ability to fight cancer. Most patients will need some kind of dosage adjustment throughout the course of their treatment. Now, some women feel like they're failing if they have to lower the dose of their Rosenio. They worry that the drug might not work as well if they had just stayed on that original dose they were put on. But you shouldn't worry about this, and here's why. Dosage adjustments are common and they're needed. We start with what we think will be the right dosage for you based on scientific trials. But everyone's body is unique and different. You may have more muscle mass and that could influence your dose. You may be more sensitive to the effects. It doesn't mean that it is not working. It just means that it needs to be customized and personalized to you. The goal here is to find a long-term treatment that doesn't impact your quality of life so much. We want you to use this drug to improve the longevity of your life, but also the quality of your life. That's what makes finding the right dose and managing the side effects so critical. Now, understandably, a lot of women feel frustrated or even defeated after going through chemo and radiation and surgery and reconstructive surgery, and then they're still put on oral chemo for months or even years to come. It feels like breast cancer treatment is never ending sometimes. This is really valid. You wanna move forward with your life. You want to move past cancer, but with more and more treatments, you may feel like you're just stuck in this holding pattern. This is why finding the right dose and managing the side effects becomes so important for your long-term success. We're talking about your overall well-being and happiness here. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. If you need extra support along the way, this is normal. This is valid. But look, this medication, Verzenio, this is expensive. There are financial assistance programs in place, or your insurance might cover the cost of the drug, but it is expensive. The cost is gonna be significant for some people. Okay, but the first step is if you're taking Verzenio or about to take Verzenio, then we need to make sure that your blood counts are in the right place. But even if you're not on Verzenio and you're struggling with low blood counts, well, this video is still good for you. Using these strategies have helped so many cancer survivors bring their blood counts up and start to feel like themselves again. Okay, I've linked up the video for you here. Click the link here and I'll see you in the next video.